Ugh. Just stay home. Save lives. I tell you what, Chad, you are right. It is wild here. They've had a pro wrestler introduce the teams. They've got a they've got a sold-out place that's excited about the playoffs. Let's take a look at our Montgomery Ward starting lineups. That guy's in it. Scotty Pippen and Dennis Rodman are the forwards. Big Luke Longley does get the call in the middle. Ron Harper and Michael Jordan are the starting guards for Phil Jackson. On the other side, Dave Cowens has Anthony Mason and Glenn Rice, Vladdy Divac, David Wesley and Bobby Phils at guard. There's Coach Cowens. Now he came out with Anthony Mason on Michael Jordan in the last ball game to try and take away. MJ with the dust off, getting packs tonight. Since we are on the other side. Well, you know, you talk about Dave Collins and give him credit. He was the runner-up in Coach of the Year uh, this year. He did an outstanding job. His team is 32-9 and here in the Hive, and they are ready. The Bulls had their professional faces on before the game in the locker room, watching the videos and watching the, the game, see what was going on. And here's who we've got tonight, Tom. Dick Pavetta, Ronnie Olesiak, and Jim Clark, our officials. During the playoffs, Charlotte, one percentage point better. This place will be a little bit like Utah, very, very loud as they are pumped up about their team. Wesley brings it to the wing, and Michael Jordan is guarding the point guard tonight. Mason backs in against Rodman. Looks to give it off, and the Bulls with the first steal. Turnover is very important, Tom, and that first game, they turned it over 18 times. The Bulls got 30 points off of those turnovers. David Wesley guarding Michael here for the first, for the start. Anthony Mason guards Luke. With Luke in the starting lineup, John, it makes it much more difficult for them to match up like they did with Mason on Michael. Right. Scotty drives through, finds Ron Harper, baseline jumper, and that's a good sign. Yeah, that's Harp's second basket of the series. He only had one basket. That was a breakaway uh, layup after a steal in game two. Nursing a bad back, Harp. Mason looking for Wesley. Wesley looking for the give and go. And and traveling yes, sir. So two turnovers now. Coming into the game, uh, we've seen... Mason had four turnovers. He picked up two in the first two minutes of play. Fox Sports Chicago like to welcome our affiliate TCI Cable of Iowa and the viewers in Waterloo and Cedar Falls. Welcome to playoff basketball on Fox Sports Chicago. Dennis Rodman with it on the wing. Luke stops, fires, and it just does bounce out. Body Divac with the rebound. Bills goes inside for Divox, who comes off a career game. Scotty with the block. We said in the open that Pip did not have one of his better games in game two. It's, um, it's still smoky in here. Yeah, it is. Oh, they had all kinds of fireworks. fireworks and everything else. Here comes the double team. Oh, Dennis wasn't ready for it, so a turnover. Nice slide down the lane by Dennis, and Michael just gave him a little shovel pass, but Dennis wasn't looking for it. And MJ talking to him as he comes up the floor. They... Um, the Hornets haven't really got a shot at them. The last one was blocked, two turnovers. So. Rice on top, finds Bobby Phils, d box down low. Tries to go baseline, and a blocking foul on Luke. First on Luke and the Bulls. Got to get the baseline. Rice started to flash out. Now comes to the right side. And Scotty is just not letting him do anything. Mason starts to back in. Shot clock at 10. 
Mason spins inside and missed it, and he has missed several layups, and then he picked up the foul. So, John, he makes one mistake by missing the layup, but the bigger mistake is the second one that he makes by picking up the foul. Right. He got in where he wanted to go. He went into the middle and then spun back with that left hand, and uh, that's the one he uses very well, but threw it up off the rim. Luke grabbed the rebound and was followed, fouled by uh, Mason. Harper drives down, put it up too strong, and Mason with the rebound. Gets it out in the middle. Bobby fills with a three on two break. Back to race for three. Off the fast break, it's a long two by Glenn Rice. Had his foot on that line. So their first points come almost two and a half minutes in, and now the Bulls go down to post up for the first time. MJ right around Wesley for the slam. Now Wesley didn't know what to do, and Michael got the ball in the post. Was there going to be help coming? Michael just went down baseline and hammered it home. He was too quick for the help. Rice with a baseline jumper, and nope. Ball is tipped, loose, out of bounds, shallow ball. Uh, body, body, Divas, that big body went in between Rodman, tapped it, and then against Luke, and they get it back. Now let's take a quick look uh, at what happened here. Michael went right around Wesley up in the air, and boom, hammer. Wesley comes around the screen, comes right down, off the glass, nope, rebound tap, Scotty's got it. Three on one, Bulls break. Pip. Hangs on to it. Got it. And a foul. The Bulls go to the basket, get the layup, and now we'll go to the free throw line and a chance for a three-point play. Now, that was uh, the big rebound by Pep. He almost got hung up by Vladi Divac in the backcourt as he takes on, on out of there. He went hard to the hoop, made the basket, and drew the foul. Missed the free throw. Six two balls, just under nine minutes left in the first. Pep shooting 90% here. He was 10 out of 11 coming in here. Misses that first one. Bobby Phils backs in. And a foul called on Ron Harper. They'll call him for the two hands in the back. Second team foul. John, I think if you'd have talked to most anybody, is the lob pass hits the backboard. What a terrible lob that was. Talk to anybody, I think they'd have said that Charlotte would come out very strong right away. It's been the Bulls that have come out as MJ fades, missed that rebound cap, and Bobby Phillips has it. Rice stops from 12 and hits. It's a nice move by Glenn Rice. Going to his left, and then the jumper makes it six to four. Now, first quarter uh, game in Chicago, he was one out of eight, and then he put it together a little bit. Now here's Hart got a look into the three. Going to the rim, way off. Get it out to Rice, and he'll lay it in. Rice off with six quick points. He's their leader. So Rice with six, and the Bulls with six. MJ, top of the circle. Inside Harp. Good roll. Harp puts it up and in. Looked like he had his jersey held as he came around the screen. Rice was hanging onto the back of his jersey. Then he goes in and lays it in. They want Divac to go down low. Wesley gives it back. Mason from fifth. Oh, you can't. Both of them went on Wesley. Wesley's not that much of a threat to, to leave Mason open with a wide open shot. Luke has it down low. Spins, comes right back off the glass and good for Luke Longworth. He gets the ball down low. He's got to take it to the basket. Dennis now the only bull starter that has yet to score. Mason. Backs in against Dennis. Fadeaway jumper. Way off. Kivac there. Got fouled by Luke. And that's out the basket. Luke went for the fake. And Vladi Divac will go to the line when we return. We've got a timeout here at the Hive in Charlotte. Six minutes, 47 seconds left in the first. And the Bulls and Hornets are tied at 10. People will always come and go in our lives. But we all know those few who never left. The partners who've always had you covered. That friend you consider the best because that's how they make you feel. At Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois, we
We know what it means to be there, guiding you toward a healthier state of mind. Because the more we know as individuals, the healthier we all feel as a community through it all. The NFL Draft is here, and NBC Sports Chicago has you covered. Join Alex Brown, Olin Krutz, Dave Wanstead, and host Lawrence Holmes for the NFL Draft Recap Special. Tomorrow at 10 on NBC Sports Chicago. Southside legends are back on NBC Sports Chicago. Put it on the ball! Relive wins from the 2005 season with White Sox Rewind. Every day at 4 on NBC Sports Chicago. Folks, welcome back to Charlotte. Now, you've heard of billboard information that players use to rally around. Well, the Charlotte Hornets are taking a new spin. They're not necessarily mad at anything that the Bulls have said. They're mad at the way that the Chicago media portrayed them when they were up in Chicago. They felt that the Chicago media didn't give them any respect, and they demeaned them. That's been the rallying cry for the past couple of days. Tom, back to you. They probably could beat our writers. <laughs> Go ahead. The Miller Genuine Draft Shoot the Bull 3-on-3 Classic coming August 1st and 2nd to Grant Park. Check the Chicago Tribune for an entry form or pick one up at any participating Chicagoland Sport Mart store. Call 312-455-4000 now for more information. Shoot the Bulls sponsored in part by the Chicago Tribune, Coca-Cola, ComEd, Columbia Healthcare, Sport Mart, and AT&T. All right, they've got seven rebounds. Vlade Divac has got four. Luke didn't block him out. He picked the ball up, put it right back in, got the basket, and Luke picks up his second foul. Luke stays in the game, and we've got a tie. Vlade looking to break that tie. Missed that badly, and Scotty with the rebound. Hornets 5 of 11 from the field. Bulls 5 of 9. Luke. Right back to Pip, and I think David Wesley will be called for the hold. Yep. His first. Third team foul. Both teams with three team fouls. Well, the Bulls get a fresh shot clock, and Michael goes down low to post up. Here comes Glenn Rice to double team. They find Harp from 15, and he hits again. Now, John, if this continues, it makes it very difficult. Leave Harper. Harp made the big uh, 13 points in the first quarter against uh, New Jersey when the Bulls really needed it, and he's got six here tonight. Glenn Rice backs in against Scotty. Fakes goes up. Yep. Got a piece of it, and Luke with a rebound. Gets it out to Harp. Early shooting, there's 6 of 10 for the Bulls, 5 of 11. Michael spins, stops at it, knocked away. David Wesley pushes it up the floor. Wesley running hard, puts it up, hard by hard for the call goaltending. Yep, and, and Phil is really upset. That ball never did get to the rim, but uh, they're going to give uh, Wesley the two points on that steal. There's the steal. He comes out here. And watch Harper come from the back. I thought before it got to the rim, but... Jimmy Clark thought yeah. it was already right. on the rim, obviously. MJ down low. Now Vladi Divac comes over to help out, and they give it to Luke. Scotty Pippen for three left side, and Scotty gives $50 to Charitables from Carex as he hits a three. Scotty was just 2 of 11 from three-point range before that one. Divac, nice spin move for the slam. They had Luke off balance and just wheeled right around him. MJ with the fake. Fades. Oh, yeah. Fires too strong, but Dennis Rodman right there puts it in. Michael Long on two shots now. It looked like he forced the issue that last time and locked the Rice for the slam. Glenn Rice printed up the floor. They made eye contact. Rice got the lob and slams it home. Dennis trying to pull Vladi Divac out as far as he can. Michael on the weak side. Oh, Offense on Rice. Oh, yeah, on Glenn Rice. Yep. Boom. He smacked Scotty, didn't he, when he went through there? Yep. Fans don't like it. You and I saw the same thing at the same time. Seventeen sixteen. Bulls with the lead. MJ right side, 17-foot jumper is good. Michael with four points now. Again, every Bulls starter has scored. Harper the leader with six. Glenn Rice has eight. Bobby 
Phils posts up down low. Harper on him. They want this one-on-one -on -one movement. Phils inside. Jump hook. Bounces in. I think Luke's a little winded. Dennis. Lost it. It'll go out of bounds. Bulls ball. We'll take a look uh, at the Tom Ed Power Cam view of a pass to Glenn Rice, a catch, and the alley -oop way up there. Woo. Glenn Rice. 15 on the shot clock. Dennis with it right side. Down low for Scotty. With fills on him. Scotty spins and three seconds in the line. Yep. That was funny. The official had a look at the back of the jersey to see who it was. They knew it was Dennis. <laughs> Both teams with three turnovers. Wesley baseline jumper too strong and Luke and Dennis both fight for it in the run Miller Genuine Draft Super Bowl three on three classic August first and second at Grand Park. Check the Chicago Tribune for an entry form. Pick one up at Sport Mart stores. Call 312-455-4000 for more information. Well, that was uh, energetic hustle by two players. Didn't come up with the ball, though, and Bulls still have a one-point lead here early. Glenn Rice comes off the screen, back to the rim. MJ and Luke fought for it, and Michael comes away. Just under three and a half left in the first. The Bulls have a one-point lead. Bulls 9 of 15. Charlotte 9 of 17. Scotty across the floor. Hart's been hot so far, and yep. he continues that. Four of six from the field for Rod Harper. Eight points. He's also got an assist. Well, you you imagine eight points from Glenn Rice. That's what it should be. Their leading score. But when you get eight by Harp to, to match him up, that's pretty good. Wesley gives it back, and Mason almost had a turnover. Phil stops from 15 and hits. Bobby Phil is very quiet in the first two games and comes down, knocks it in. Averaging only five points. They want a timeout. Two minutes, 43 seconds left here. First period at the Hive in Charlotte. The Chicago Bulls lead the Charlotte Hornets 21 to 20. Discover Wisconsin. Join me and the rest of the DW crew every week on this station for all things Wisconsin. Continue the adventure on social media and discoverwisconsin.com for behind the scenes content and great Wisconsin giveaways, including a chance to win a free vacation. This week's featured prize package could take you to Sparta. Just visit discoverwisconsin.com for details. That's inside the hive. It has been very loud so far. Here's our game two summary. Everything was fine until the fourth quarter when Charlotte outscored the Bulls 29 to 19. Teams combined for the lowest first half scoring in playoff history. MJ, no points for about the first 19 minutes of the second half. And Vladi Divac had 19 rebounds, a career playoff high. Not that much difference right now, 21 to 20. That was only 17 13 in that first quarter with all that low shooting time. Here you got two teams of Bulls shooting almost 63%, the Hornets shooting 53. What a turnaround. And Charlotte has made nine of their last 13 from the field. Tony Kukoc into the lineup as Luke Longley sits down. Scotty posted up, wanted it from Tony, still wants it. He really wants the ball and finally gets it inside. Devox comes over to double team. Inside Harp, jump hook in and out. Dennis tapped it, kept it alive. It's loose. Dennis hands it off the glass. Nope. Got it again. Put it up with the left hand. Yeah, foul call. That's the biggest thing. He drew the foul. He didn't make the basket, but he drew the foul on Vlade Divac. 
Pass underneath to Harper. Harper misses a little jump hook. Dennis in a battle with Divac. He goes up once, twice, gets it, and then misses the shot, gets his rebound back, and then draws the foul. Dennis will have one more, made the first. David Wesley with five assists in the game, and uh, Roddy Dubach with four rebounds. Dennis cranks in two free throws. He's got four now, Tommy. And Phil Jackson wants a little pressure put on by the Bulls. See who's got Vladi Dubach. Tony starts out with him. Rice comes around the screen, and a foul call. Oh, not a good foul. Tony just got ridden off on that play. Shoot the ball three-on-three -three classic is August 1st and 2nd at Grand Park. Check the Tribune for an entry form or call your Sport March store or 312-455-4000 for more information. Sponsored in part by the Chicago Tribune and Coca-Cola. Now, if you missed that, pay attention. We're going to tell you some more how to get involved in that tournament. Mason fakes the pass. Tony knocked it away. It's loose and Rice has it. Shot clock at 11. Remember, they had a foul call. Rice oh. Scotty goes down. Rice pitches it back to Bobby Phils inside Rice. Nope. And well, Dennis Rodman everybody, the rebound. Everybody had the ground that time. MJ for three. Right side short, but he gets his own rebound. Dennis Rodman still not in your picture. Dennis is just now kind of starting to hustle up. He was walking up the floor. And he steps out on the floor. Michael comes off the screen from 17. His jumper just off from Vladi Divac for the rebound. Gets it up. Oh, and he's twice they beat him on the break. And twice Vladi with the long shot. Terrible transition for the Bulls. Well, you got to get back, right? Yeah, somebody must have that responsibility. Tony with a quick short shot. And they look again. Here's the pass down. Wesley. Gives it over to Rice, who lays it in. Beautiful fast break work, and they're just killing the Bulls. Last couple times down, they take a one-point lead. Rice with 10. Charlotte with their first lead. Scotty, top of the circle, finds Harper. Back to Michael. Quick move, MJ with the fadeaway jumper, and he hits from the right side. Six points for Michael now, and the Bulls take the lead right back. Place reminds you a little bit of Utah, John, as boisterous as the crowd is. Yeah, they get themselves vocal. The Bulls are worrying now about getting back, but everybody's pulling up short on that long jump shot. Vladi Divac pushing Tony out of the way. Vladi wants the post up, has it down low. He'll back in against Tony with the rolling hook. Nope, the rebound, Dennis Rodman. Bulls will get the last shot with about eight seconds here, seven. MJ. Sprints up the floor, baseline jumper, in and out, and that'll do it. We've played one period here at the Hive in Charlotte, and the world champion Chicago Bulls lead the Charlotte Hornets in game three of this playoff series, 25 to 24. Little cabin by the lake. Leaky. Drafty. Perfect. <laughs> Mismatched chairs gathered around a game board marked with house rules. Brats, bean dip, bottles of beer, silly superstitions, off-color victory dances, and two of the most cursed dice you ever saw. This is Shiner Country. Wednesday on NBC Sports Chicago, your favorite athletes, comedians, and more join forces for the Chicago Community COVID-19 Response Fund. Together, we can make a difference in our community for those who need it the most. Be Chicago. Together, we can. Wednesday, 7 p.m., NBC Sports Chicago and streaming on the My Teams app. Visit NBCSportsChicago.com slash Chicago to donate now. Here's our first quarter summary. Two teams about even, as you'd expect, with a one-point game. 
Field goals, three pointers, rebounds, assists, one difference, and a couple fast breaks, John. Yeah, look at the guy pitching the, the ball down. Uh, Vlade Divac to Bobby Phil on a quick pitch out, and now here's another one. It comes down to David Wesley, gets out in front of everybody, goes on up in the air, throws it over to Rice. Rice finishes that one off. Got some changes in both lineups for the Bulls. Bill Wennington in, along with Tony Kukoc, Steve Kerr, Scott Burrell, and Scotty. Wennington gives it right back to Pitt. Baseline jumper is good. B.J. Armstrong with Bobby Phils, Glenn Rice, Roddy Devox, and Anthony Mason. So B.J. sees his first action after a good performance in Game 2 in Chicago. Ball is deflected, and Bill Wennington comes up with it. Pip, pip, high, high. Oh, beautifully done. Wow. I saw him wide open. Steve Kerr found him. His back was to the basket. He caught it and reversed it in. Beautiful play. We'll probably get a chance to see that when we get a second. Bulls on a 6-0 run now as Mason wants to clear out with Tony on him. Mason will back Tony right out of the way. Comes inside and made the way. That's uh, awful close to the basket, isn't it? Yes. Bulls with a three-point lead now. Wennington gets it down low. Bounces to Steve Kerr. Uh, top got to BJ is right there to take it away. Uh, two. Not enough room. BJ Armstrong with a three for a long two. Ooh. Bill Wennington with the rebound. BJ wants to attack the Bulls. He wants to get down before they get into their half court. Scotty, Hit quick jumper. Yeah. BJ comes up with it. Armstrong pushes it back. Bobby fills for three. Divac came over the back, got the rebound, and a foul on Vlade Divac. Yeah, Vlade's second foul. Crowd doesn't like it, but he looks around at everybody. Bulls lead at 29-26. They'll have the basketball. The J.R. Reed, yep, J.R. Reed will check in for the Hornets. Vladi Divac will check out. Divac leaves with two fouls, four points, and six rebounds. Del Curry in the ball game as well. He's on Scott Burrell. Bulls, good ball movement. Pippen spins, comes back, fadeaway 15-footer. No, Burrell tapped it. But Armstrong's right there to pick it off. Uh, Pippen picks the foul up. B.J. goes right after him and gives him some what for. Bulls were talking about that uh, in Chicago, how B.J. had become one of the um, aggressors with the mouth. Yeah. He said some things when he was yep. making that run, and he played very well. Yes, he did. Mason again with Tony on him. See if they clear it out again. Yep, they sure do. They want this matchup. Terrell comes over to help out. BJ with a three. Nope, a long two, and Scotty Pippen right there. Now, for this offense to work for them, if the Bulls are going to make those defensive switches and help out like that, BJ's got to hit those shots. Because he is the man that's open. And they stay out there in the front. You've got to get something going into the basket. Kerr. Puts a jumper up and just did bounce out. Scott Burrell right there. Fakes. Nice fake. Oh, and yeah. By Scott Burrell. That might have hit the clock. Everybody, the clock's shaking up there, but Burrell comes up with the rebound and hammers it home. Bulls with a five point lead. And a kickball that'll be a reset the shot clock. And we got a timeout on the floor. Here's a comment, power cam look of Pippen. We talked about this beautifully reversed, Tommy, and we're out of here. 9.05 left, Bulls with a lead. The Mega Millions jackpot is now over $150 million. Normally we want you to run out and buy a ticket, but right now we want you to stay in and play online as you proudly stare at that six-month supply of toilet paper you scored. Download the app or play online. For Hyundai and its dealers, the health and safety of our local communities have always come first. And right now, we're all safer at home. But should you need a vehicle, we have options to shop online. And a participating dealer will deliver it right to you. And to ease the financial strain, you'll make no payments for four months. Together, we can create a safer, better car buying experience. 
Get 0% APR for up to 84 months on the 2020 Tucson or Elantra and make no payments for four months. Visit buyhyundai.com today. The Mega Millions jackpot is now over $150 million. Normally, we say that money should go to someone in Illinois, not our neighboring states. But right now, we need to come together like we're one big state. We share a lake, even though it's named after Michigan. Hmm. Download the app or play online. It's time for a Discover Card payback playback as the Bulls pulled out Washington last year. Scotty with a big part. Scotty gets it back. Scotty on the baseline. Oh, Slamming down, that's the foul on Kelber Cheney. They're looking for uh, a flagrant foul on it. I don't remember if they got the flagrant foul, but they got the sweep. That's right. That was the third victory, uh, the first one in Washington, and locked up that first round series. Greg, uh, Matt Geiger uh, coming into game now, so he'll be in with Del Curry and B.J. Armstrong, J.R. Reed, and Glenn Rice. The Bulls with Bill Wennington, Scotty Pippen, and Tony up front. Steve Curry in the back with Scott Burrell. Bulls on an 8-2 to two run in about the last three and a half minutes. And the nice thing is they give Michael a little rest, and they extend the lead, and Charlotte throws it away. So a chance to make that run a 10-2 run now. Scotty, I think, as much as anybody, has come out very focused tonight. Pip with it on top, finds Tony. Tony, top of the circle jumper, is off. And Scott Burrell with another offensive rebound. Wennington gives it right back to Kukoc. Tony tries to turn the corner, and Matt Geiger will be called for the handshake. Tony shot, uh, really. Needs a little radar on it, doesn't it? I mean, he missed left, he missed right. <laughs> I think yeah, it's a pretty good call. Yeah. Kerr with Armstrong on him. And offensive, offensive foul on him. Got to stand still. Yep. And an upcoming home playoff game. The first 10,000 fans in the United Senate will receive a Bulls item. Compliments of the Chicago Sun-Times. B.J. near the half-court strike. Rice comes around the screen and dribbles it off his own foot, but it went right to B.J. Geiger bounces it back to Armstrong. Five on the shot clock. Shot clock at four. At three. B.J. fadeaway baseline. Yes. They got him into the corner, and they didn't put enough pressure on him. B.J. was able to see the basket. Tony Kukoc with the post up down low. Kicks it right back out. And the Bulls get it right back to him with Geiger on him. Bill Winnington from 16. Fadeaway jumper is good. Ball got kicked away, so the reason for the whistle. 33-28 Bulls with the lead. It's Bill's first basket of the series. He'd use some from Bill looking at that hoop, right? And they double team. Well, that's the big key, John, is when they go to double team, you have to make the play. What a tough oh. play. Man, is this guy, Johnny yep. Scotty, is playing as hard as I've seen him play in a long time. And I don't mean he hasn't yeah. played hard. I just mean this is terrific. Right, he got nine points, he got four rebounds, a couple assists, and that time he's, he tries to go through the, oh. the uh, passing lane. Oh, and he knocked that one away, too. Scotty playing tough. He ends up in the first row here over by us. B.J. gives the pass. Scotty takes the lane, and they gonna, said, let's take a timeout and let me sit down a minute. <laughs> we got a full timeout here at the Hive. Seven minutes and 42 seconds left in the first half. The Bulls lead Charlotte 33-28. to 28. We all come together and stand together to serve our veterans. We invest in the latest technology. We take the time to train the next generation of doctors and nurses. We work together to make sure we heal their bodies and their minds. This is our mission. More than 300,000 of us working as one, together with families and loved ones. No matter where they live in this country, we'll be there. We stand strong, united. Stand with us in caring for our veterans.
Hey, guys, the last couple of huddles, Phil Jackson has made a big deal about how on offense it's so important to have good spacing. You get the good spacing, then you can recognize the mismatches very quickly and do something about them. Back to you guys. Michael Jordan back in the game has B.J. Armstrong defensively. J.R. Reed Jumper is good. Looked pretty long for J.R., but he knocked it down. 33-30 to 30 now. Reed with his first points. Scott Burrell with it down low with Armstrong on him. Baseline jumper, Burrell, easy turnaround. And again, that's a matchup that I think the Bulls would like to try and exploit. Because BJ's just not big or strong enough to stay with Scott Burrell, especially if they post up. Armstrong around the screen on top for Reed. Another long jumper for him. That's a little bit more what you expect. And a foul against the Bulls, Bill Winnington. Scotty went up and got that rebound. Winnington was just trying to block out, but he picks a second foul up. Now there's two on Luke, two on Bill Winnington, and here comes Luke again. Will he get in? Yep. Bobby Phils comes back. Glenn Rice will leave. B.J. Armstrong with two points, one of three from the field. Comes off the screen. Armstrong looking to pass it off, finally finds somebody. Nine on the shot clock. And they're just calling out the play. Armstrong drives inside, pitches it back to Bobby Phils with two on the clock. Bobby Phils had a good look at it. He didn't have it originally, gave Pip the fake, and knocked it down, and we've got a three-point lead for the Bulls. Kukoc with it on the right side. Pip, turnaround jumper, in and out, and Matt Geiger with the rebound. Well, those rebounds are going nowhere. They're just spinning out and coming yep. right down to the guy that's got the inside position. B.J. tacks the basket, not there. Curry standing wide open, three seconds, illegal defense. Michael Jordan talking a little bit about B.J., and he said some people may be shocked with his attitude, some of the gestures, but give him respect. He came in a situation he was familiar with, motivated his team, and won a game for them, won a big game. And he went on to say that B.J. probably left without being in his own terms. He probably wasn't very happy with the way he left, but he came back and played pretty well. But still, I don't think the Bulls appreciated some of the things that were said. Bobby fills with it. J.R. Reed, Matt Geiger, and Del Curry into the ballgame now. Reed from 15, and that's a little bit more his range. Oh, well, it go in. Nobody took Nobody it. Nobody went. Now Michael just says, come on, Bill, or Tony, or Luke, get up there and grab that ball. Any one of the three, right? Yeah, any one of the three. <laughs> they double-team Michael, and he beats that double-team and pushes it up the floor. Bounce pass, Dennis Rodman goes in and got fouled. Dennis Rodman will go to the line. Two shots Two on, on the, the side. side. Yes, yep. sir. Geiger just creamed them coming in. Michael pushed the ball up the court quickly, and watch, here comes Dennis from the side. Up he goes, and they just, two guys go after him. So Dennis will shoot two free throws. Geiger picks up his second foul. Yeah, he didn't go at the ball, and that's one of the things they talk about. Yeah. You have to go at the ball, and yeah, he went at he his just head. Just two hands uh, go over the top, and now Geiger says, I just went with two hands. That's right, you came right over his shoulder. Dennis misses the first one. Vladi Divac will check back in for the Hornets, and Matt Geiger likely would come out. Yep, Geiger leaves. <laughs> the only part of the game Dennis really doesn't like. He's three for four from the line. He just wants to get it and get rid of it. He's got five points in the game. Go along with four rebounds, and the Bulls will get the ball on the side. Four-point lead. MJ pops out on the right side. Luke down low with it. Luke spins, rolling. Oh, yeah. Dan, how about that for yeah. Luke? Bulls with their biggest lead, a six-pointer. Del Curry missed the three. Michael with the rebound. 38-32 Bulls. MJ goes around the screen, comes underneath, finds Luke up. No. Oh, yeah, that was a block. He was in the lane. He was in too close. 
They said you slid in underneath. Well, it's a fourth team foul. Reed gets in underneath. Now watch the play. Here comes Luke. He's right there, and it was just too close to get in front of him for the block. And take a look outside. You see, you see both feet of his were inside the line, Tommy. Yep. Yeah, Reed was a little perturbed. I like that. I like that ruling because oh, yeah. it really takes the onus off an official of a guy just last second jumping in front of a guy. If he's in that lane, then you got a clear And John, as a player, you, I mean, you played in the NBA, did a little in college, but you hate that when a guy stands right under the basket. Yeah. Don't do that. That's not yeah. basketball. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to take a charge, take it out away from there a little bit. Well, I'm glad they eliminated that in college, too, where they... They give the guy, uh, the basket's good, and the foul's on the other guy. You All know, right. They right. please everybody. 39-32, Bulls lead it by seven as BJ has it on the wing. Armstrong comes off the screen by Mason. On top, Glenn Rice. Quick pass down low and a foul before the shot, and I think Dennis will pick it up. Dennis picks up. His first personal foul. Third team foul on the Bulls. Charlotte with four with just under four minutes left. I'm just under five minutes left here in the first half. Rice backs in. Very short and Burrell with the rebound. Luke posts up again. Boy, he's an easy target. That's one of the things they all talked about. Traveling called on Michael and Phil can't believe it. Is that six turnovers for the Bulls now? The Litsy Bitsies. BJ comes off the Vladi Divac screen. Rice pops Oh, out. good play. Great play by Burrell. MJ running hard. Oh, but how about Bobby Phils who ran even harder and took it away? I well, didn't give him a good pitch. Rice is all alone. Over Longley in and yeah. out. And Dennis Rodman with the rebound. Finds Burrell. Now the Bulls push it up the floor again. Burrell oh, hard, but he had missed the dunk. Roddy Divac coming up the floor with BJ inside. Mason for the lay. Easy layup. The Bulls have four guys down, but they don't look up. 39-34 now. Burrell missing the dunk. That ball hit off the back rim. Michael looking for his first points in about the last nine minutes, and he may get it as he starts to drive. Chicago Bulls Portrait of an Era is the only authorized collection of portraits of your five-time world champs. The unforgettable memory of this historic team captured forever in this never-before-published edition. To order, call 888-826-4610. B.J. Armstrong finds the bench now as Wesley comes back in. Wesley had a nice first quarter. He had, uh, what, six assists there, Tim? Two points, six assists. He had a couple rebounds as well. For a diminutive player, he rebounds well. But he's so strong. There's the kid back on the bench. DJ one for four in the first quarter. The first half. Bulls restore their biggest lead, seven. That was a good play by uh, Burrell that last time. Turning his head on that long pass over to Rice. Now steal by Steve Kerr. Scotty goes down low to Luke. Back to Kerr. Quick jump for Steve Kerr. Short, short. short. Rebound tap. And Divac has it for Charlotte. Again, they are looking up the floor in a hurry. Another rebound for Divac. That's eight. Seems to be right or not. Glenn Rice. Jump hook is good. Glenn Rice with 12. And the Hornet fans start to make some noise. MJ comes off the screen on top, Scotty. Kerr in the corner, puts up a three and hit. Yeah, they sag off Steve, wrong time. 50 bucks. The charitable from Kerr. Breaking off for this. Mason backs in. 
fadeaway jumper way off and Dennis Rodman right there for the rebound. Dennis with six rebounds and five points. He's tied up with Glenn Rice. MJ down low. Any he double? Any double coming? No double. Fadeaway jumper from Mike. Yo, oh, golly, that thing was in the jar. Mason picks it up, finds Rice on top. Steps inside for two and hits. That's a good play by Glenn Rice. Yeah, everybody leaps at Rice on that play. He takes the fake and comes inside. 14 points. He's got the most. The Bulls are going to take a timeout. Timeout, Bulls. Phil Jackson wants to talk it over. One minute, 48 seconds left here in the first half, and the Bulls lead the Hornets 44 to 38. Your old heating and cooling system is costing you money. Our preseason air conditioner sale is going on now. Get a free in-home estimate, plus same-day installation of a new Lennox air conditioner from $24.95. Furnace and AC combos from $36.95. And receive 0% interest financing for five years. Plus, we'll beat any competitor's estimate by up to $500. Call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. For all the right reasons, call 866-4-SEASON. Don't miss Sports Talk Live from home. I believe that they are absolutely going to have an open competition. This is not guaranteed to be Nick Foles' job. Weeknights at 6.30 on NBC Sports Chicago and streaming on the My Teams app. The My Teams app is the number one pick for all your Bears draft coverage. Stream shows with former monsters of the Midway. Listen to the Under Center podcast and read articles from insiders. The choice is easy. Download the My Teams app now. Well, 148 to go here. 18 seconds uh, on a 24-second clock. The Bulls took a timeout, and Dennis says, uh, I'll inbound the ball. Steve Kerr with it on the side. He'll put up a three and oh, hit two Steve. threes in a row for Steve Kerr. Another 50, Tom. Another 50 goes to Chair the Bulls from Carex, and it's 47-38. And the Bulls with a nice little run. That's their biggest lead. Mason. Yep, Mason with it against Longley now. And Luke called for the, the knee. That's his third foul, first in the last two minutes. Three for Luke. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, Tony Kukoc is coming in. Tony really had a tough start. Did not score. He was 0 for 2 from the field. Missed both of those badly. He had two assists. Devots goes right side for Bobby Fills. Glenn Rice trying to get it down low. And Scotty just will not let him have the ball. Baseline. Mason Jumper is good. Anthony Mason with eight points and three rebounds. Michael spins baseline like the first play yeah. of the game, only he didn't dunk it, he did everything else. Michael with 10. And we've got 60. just under a minute left. 60 seconds to Bobby Phils just pushing Steve around, but Steve gets the foul call on him, and Phils will go to the free throw line. Phils has not been to the free throw line in the series. Michael talking to Dick Bavetta. You know when the, when the vein sticks out of Dick Bavetta's neck that he's a little upset? Look out, technical on him, Jeff. I could see it coming. I could see that coming. MJ got his ire. I saw the... I saw the vein come out of his neck. There it is. T. Oh, boy. And Rice made the technical free throw. So they get a chance for a three-point play here. That's only the second time they've been in the line. Now they'll follow it up with two more. Bobby Phils had missed the first free throw, but they said, no, nope, we get a technical here. So, so he gets to shoot it again. Yeah. It's kind of like a practice putt, huh? Yeah, I like those. Second ones are usually free.
missed it, and Tony Kukoc moves inside for the rebound. 50 seconds, Bulls are too far, or what? Mason again is on MJ. Michael has it up high. Tries to beat him on the dribble, does. Oh, what a shot by MJ. Wow. What a high, high off the glass play. Body Divac takes short for way off. Mason with the rebound, kicks it out to Wesley, and now they want one shot. Boy, shot nobody, yeah. nobody came for that rebound again, Tom. Nope. The ball bounced right up there. See, about six seconds or so, different shot clock and game clock. Wesley. Steve Kerr comes around the screen. Lottie for three. Hey, that's good. No. Oh, wow, I thought it was. Bulls with eight seconds to go. Tony Kukoc. Oh, quick shot. Hey, he hit it. Tony makes his first one, gives the Bulls the biggest lead with 1.7. Oh, Steve Kerr almost stole that ball as Mason throws it up from half court. Here's MJ's last basket. Michael, top of the circle, comes right around Mason. That high archer way up off the glass, off the top of the square above that. Michael drops it home, and the Chicago Bulls at halftime lead the Charlotte Hornets 53-42 to here at the Hive. Now let's go back to our studios in Chicago. For over 80 years, Nissan has been with you through thick and thin. And now is no different. We're offering payment options for current owners. Our service departments are here to help. And now we're offering more help. No payments for three months. Plus, we'll cover your payments for up to two additional months. Or get 0% financing for up to 84 months on 13 models. This is help when you need it. Even when the whole world feels like it's been put on pause, there will still be Jets Detroit-style pizza. And we're working hard to get it to you the safest way possible. With contactless delivery upon request and curbside pickup at participating locations. So go ahead, pick two or more of these Jets favorites and get each for $7.49. Delivered safely to your door or straight to your car. No contact necessary. Jets. Better because it has to be. Back at the Hive in Charlotte, the Chicago Bulls lead the Charlotte Hornets 53-42 to at halftime. Eric Collins is standing by with assistant coach Frank Hamlin. Eric, take it away. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Well, Frank, a totally different style of game than the first two games that we saw. Are you happy with the pace? Well, we're happy with the pace. That's one of the big um, things we want to do is control the tempo here. Uh, and in the half-court game, uh, they want to go to, uh, if Tony's in the game, they want to go at his man. Uh, he's matched up either against Mason or Divac. And also, they've been going harp off their Hawk, Hawk series, uh, trying to post him with fills. Other than that, they want to push the ball up and first guy at the spot. You know, they want to they want to get quick, quick points, and they will run out on us, so we have to make sure we're back defensively. But we did a much better job of lining them up uh, offensively and making them pay. And you know, they've uh, changed their... Uh, their defensive assignments a lot, you know, out of timeouts and all like, but that shouldn't affect us if we just uh, stay with our game plan and run our offense. Well, thanks a lot for stopping by and good luck in the second half. Thank you, Eric. Frank Hamlin, back to Tom Dore. Guys, take it away. All right, thanks, Eric. Here's our Payne Weber first half stats and not quite as much of a disparity as you would think. Field goals, just two more for the Bulls, although two more makes a difference. Bulls shoot a little bit better, 52 to 44. Free throws, four more. Charlotte just gets to the line four times, and the Bulls make four more there. Rebounds almost exactly the same. Here's a big number, bench points. Steve Kerr had two three-pointers in the first half. Bill Wennington had a basket, 14 to four there in fast break. Charlotte, 14 to seven. They had that nice flurry in the second quarter that brought him back in the ballgame. Scotty Pippen, huh, John? Yeah, Scotty had a nice first half with nine points, and he started out by getting himself ready defensively. Here he is against Vlade Divac with the block, uh, kicks the ball out and gets the ball going. Now here, Luke finds him on the side. He stops it, lines up a three-point field goal, picks that up, and then Steve Kerr finds him. Scotty catches, looks up at the hoop, and makes a miraculous basket. Nice first half for Scotty. You know, uh, Phil made a great uh, a switch. In the first game, he had Steve Kerr on Curry, and Curry shot over the top of him at, at will, and Burrell was on BJ. Uh, this first half, he put uh, uh, he put BJ, uh, Steve Kerr on BJ and Burrell on Curry. Curry was 0 for 1, and uh, BJ was, uh, what, 1 for 4, so it was a nice job by the Bulls. 
Bulls' last semifinal road loss came in 1996 when the Knicks beat the Bulls, 102 to 99. Bulls went on to sweep the series after that. There's Kit, B.J. Armstrong. Scotty will bring it up for the Bulls. Dennis right in front of us as Luke posts up down low. MJ with Bobby Phils on him. Scotty really wants it in the post up and has it down there. Gives it back to Luke and gets it back with time four on the running. Shot time clock. running. Jump hook by Scotty and a foul before the shot on Glenn Rice. Well, the time was running out. That's a second on Glenn Rice. His second. Bulls did a good job of keeping them off the free throw line, as you mentioned, Tom. They only there four times, made two of them. Scotty had to go out and get it with Rice on him. Uh -oh. Nice fake, Scotty inside. Off the glass and good. Pretty move by Scotty Pippen. Yeah, we could have had that one in our little Scotty package too, couldn't we? That was a nice move. He had Glenn up in the air and then went around Mason, who was waiting for him under the basket. So many guys think they can block a shot as Rice puts up the three and hits from the right side. Well, he had a lot of time on that shot. 18 points for Glenn Rice. Got around that, that, that screen they set for him. He had a lot of time. Dennis looks for the open man on top. It's MJ as again Scotty goes down to post up. Double team is Divots. He goes right around Divots and got fouled. So twice in a row, Scotty Pippen goes to the basket. Donuts at the cart. Last year's semifinals, Bulls won the first game against Atlanta. The Hawks came back to win the second. In the third, the Bulls won by 20 and won the series four games to two at home. They came back with a 20-point win in that third game after the loss. No confusion on who was taking Scotty this time down. Comes out with the first four points for the Bulls. Rice with a three for them. The way he's attacking the basket, I can see why there'd be confusion. Nobody wants to guard him. Mason likes his point forward spot. Rice to the wing, and a bump foul on MJ. Michael with his first. He's got 12 points, three rebounds, and five assists. Rice steps out on the floor, and the jumper is good. Glenn Rice. Scotty just went the wrong way is what happened, and Rice had the open jumper. Michael right side with Bobby Phils. His pip goes right down low again. If he goes to the bucket again. Nope, that time picked up his dribble. Dennis stepped in the way of that, that pass that time. Down low for Luke. Big fella moves inside. Had it blocked in a jump ball. Well, it looked like somebody had tied up Luke's ankles that time. And he was in that, that sack race, you know, where he bop, 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 hopping along. Vladi Divas came up and said, look, if you're not going to make that move clear, I'm going to come in here and block the shot. So jump ball. And a timeout. 20 seconds. 20 second timeout called by Phil. The Miller Genuine Draft Shoot the Bull 3-on-3 three -three Classic comes August 1st and 2nd to Chicago's Grant Park. Check the Chicago Tribune for an entry form or pick one up at any participating Sport Mart store. Call 312-455-4000 now for more information. Shoot the Bull, sponsored in part by the Chicago Tribune, Coca-Cola, Comet, Columbia Healthcare, Sport Mart, and AT&T. Phil was a little upset. Career against the Hornets, 34-9, and nine, about 80%. <laughs> the referees. Phil tells Bevetta something. Bevetta says to Clark, watch for this. Luke wants you to watch. <laughs> and Jimmy Clark shakes his head and says, oh, okay. No problem. Charlotte Hornets win the tip. 57-47 Bulls with the lead. Just two minutes gone here in the third period. Mason again playing that point forward spot. Mason looking to make a move off the Ooh. dribble. Lottie was doing a little flop. Get it back to Bobby Phils with two on the shot clock. And His three was way short. Look at, Look at this. Right Went. into Rice's. Oh, man. And Lou got the rebound. Boy, right into Rice's. That's the open. 
most open he's really been. Michael coming on down the lane. Kicks it back to Harp. Right side for Scotty. Luke again goes down low. Divac comes around. Gotta go meet the ball. Divac pushes it up the floor. And Mason has it on the wing now. One on one with Dennis. Mason gives it on top. Gets it right back. Makes the move. Throws it up and in. Well, they're making their run. Yeah, they're making their run here. Ten points. And it's back to, uh, what, an eight-point lead. Crowd makes some noise. Harp comes across. And right back for Scotty. Down low, Michael, with Bobby Phils on him. Michael stops, fires, fades a little. Nope, rebound loose, and Divac comes up with it. 57-49, Bulls with the lead as Wesley comes inside. Scotty with the rebound. Fans wanted a foul. I don't think Luke moved. Ahead for Michael. Spin move. Comes right back underneath. Kicks it out. MJ oh, oh, with a fake. Gets it to Luke and he got fouled. MJ with a good ball fake. He's got to have big hands and strong <laughs> hands to make that ball fake. Because if that ball is tipped, it could very well get knocked away. Absolutely. Yeah, they get it in the corner for uh, Ronnie Harper. Harper looks at a three, but then throws it back to Michael. And here's the fake you talked about, Tom. He got Vladi up. He goes underneath. And as Mason comes out, he gives Luke the pass. Up they go. I got David Wesley in that foul. Luke uh, split a pair from the free throw line. Five points, three rebounds, three assists. Make it six points now for Luke. Big fella takes his time. And rattles that one home. So seven points for Luke. Bulls out scoring their bench 14 to 4. Wesley has it on the wing. Picks up his dribble. Wanted to go inside, and Ron Harper will be calling for the foul. Harp called for the push. Only Harp's second foul. Devots is it right back to Rice. Look at Scotty right there on him. Rice fade away, gives it back to Mason. Now Scotty picks him up. Mason knocks Scotty down and puts it in. Beautiful with the right hand. Nice move. And Mason, Mason has a lot of those moves, Tom, going to the hole. That was a strong move, which he certainly can do. Harper wanted it right back. Holtonley, fadeaway 15-footer, just off. Rebound tap. Rodman comes up with it, goes oh. inside. A bad pass to Scotty. And here comes Mason pushing it up the floor. Ahead for Wesley behind the back, and Harper right there. Now Scotty with MJ has got Vladi Divac defensively, and Pip got fouled by Divac. Pip was looking to give the ball. To give the ball into Michael, but Divac would not commit, so he took that left arm and stretched it way up high and over the rim. Take a look at it. Here it is. He's waiting for Divac to commit. Michael's on his right. Will he commit? No. So Pip goes up high with the right and knocks his arm away. It's a good call. Take a look at the uh, I'm Ed power cam on the last basket here by Mason. Beautiful spinning move on the way in. Then goes with the right hand as Pitt misses the free throw. 60 to 51. Mason runs over Dennis. Offensive foul, absolutely. And Mason really upset with the call. His second. Well, it looked like everybody was down there to meet him, wasn't it? And Dave Cowan says, uh, time out. Yeah, I'll take one. Seven minutes, 17 seconds left in the third. And the Chicago Bulls continue to hold on to this lead. The Bulls lead the Hornets 60 to 51. The Mega Millions jackpot is now over $150 million. Normally, we want you to run out and buy a ticket. But right now, we want you to stay in and play online as you proudly stare at that six-month supply of toilet paper you scored. Download the app or play online. Calling all doers. The ones who roll up their sleeves and get things done. 
Where others see obstacles, you draw inspiration. When others settle for the status quo, you advocate for change. Hello, friends. It's Colleen, and welcome to St. Xavier. If purpose and passion drive you, join us. Together, we'll forge the path to a brighter tomorrow. The Mega Millions jackpot is now over $150 million. Normally, we say that money should go to someone in Illinois, not our neighboring states. But right now, we need to come together like we're one big state. We share a lake, even though it's named after Michigan. Hmm. Download the app or play online. Well, a lot of red shirts down there to try to help out, and it was Dennis that picked it up. Eric Collins, what do you know, partner? Yeah, guys, in the last huddle, Dave Collins was very animated. He said, guys, we'll never beat the Chicago Bulls if we go one-on-one -on -one against these guys. We have to get everyone involved. And when he said that, he tapped B.J. Armstrong on the arm and said, hey, go on in, partner. Back to you guys. So he wants B.J. to get people involved. M.J., top of the circle, jumper, bangs it home. It's the first basket in the third quarter in the last game. And up to now, seven minutes left, Michael with uh, 14 points. He just hadn't looked at the hoop there much. Armstrong goes down low from Mason. Anthony Mason starts to back it again against Dennis. Kicks it back to Armstrong. B.J. along two. Nope, and Scotty right there for the rebound. Biff brings it to the There's right BJ side. MJ. MJ turn around baseline jumper over B.J. Armstrong, and it's good. That one never even touched the net, yeah. much less the rim. That was perfect. Bulls with their biggest lead, 64-51. Rice backs in on Scotty. His jumper is good. Glenn Rice with 22. Seven points to this quarter for Rice. Four for Mason. That's their scoring. Baseline Ron Harper comes inside. Put it up. He had a little open baseline jumper, but instead wanted to drive, in, drive inside. 64-53 Bulls were halfway through the third period. B.J. Armstrong with a long-range jumper. Nope, from Dennis Rodman with a number nine rebound. Michael comes around the screen, drives inside. And up. Oh, I thought that was in the, uh, in the net. At an upcoming home playoff game, the first 10,000 fans in the United Center will receive a Bulls item, compliments of the Chicago Sun-Times. And, John, I don't know if you saw it, but as Luke was walking away, Michael came right up to him and said, when I come around you on that screen and roll, you roll, and you yeah. go to the basket quick. You had a layup, and you didn't get there. Don't be flaring. Steve Kerr will check into the Bulls lineup. Yeah, Rick Flair was here earlier, right? He's telling him, don't be doing that. Is that who that was? <laughs> I know he's a pro wrestler. I did not know who he was. Sixty-six, fifty-three. Bulls with the lead. Rice starts to drive. Now backs off. His jumper oh, goes in. Golly, what a shooter's bounce! He got that trip, huh? Twenty-four points. I think this is the rice that we all thought was going to play for Charlotte. He's here tonight. Michael starts to drive, spins, comes underneath, finds Dennis in the lane. Dennis lays it home. Jumper. Seven for Dennis. Nine rebounds and an assist. 68-55, Bulls with the lead. Armstrong gives it back to Vladi Divac. Rice top of the circle for three. In and out, and Dennis and Luke fight for it. Oh, almost lost. <laughs> He's looking at Luke saying, don't do that. <laughs> Did you see oh, the waggle man. of the finger? Oh, man. That was the old uh, Matumbo. Matumbo wag, but he was wagging at Luke. <laughs> Michael with Del Curry on him. Wants everybody to get set. Wants the screen. Now rolls. MJ fades. Oh, here yeah. He goes. Oh, yeah, Dave. Time better out, take Cowan. One. They want a 20-second timeout. MJ all of a sudden has started to put the hammer to Charlotte. 
He, he called for the screen. He called for the screen. They came over and gave him a little screen. When Vlade Divac came on him, Michael went down to the baseline and then made the spin to knock the J. And here's the miss here. All right, watch Dennis here. We talked about he, he and they saying, Luke, hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. No, I got that ball. I got that ball. Now watch him come uh, through the Vlade Divac around him and then the fadeaway over the top. Vintage. Jordan. Bulls on an 11 to 4 run the last three minutes, and he's just going back doing his job, John. Well, this is something the Bulls could not do uh, in Chicago, and uh, let's come up with some pretty good shooting. The Bulls have done that the first half. They shot 52% from the floor. And the runs. You expect yeah. the runs, and they just never really put a run together, especially in game two. All right, now Steve Kerr is on Curry. Let's see what they... Rice turns and looks. Nice fake oh, yeah. comes inside. Block, but it goes in and a foul on Luke. Boy, that's a tough play to give Rice the basket and the free throw. That's fourth on Luke. But Scotty went for the fake that time, and up he went. Glenn Rice single-handedly uh, trying to keep his team in the game. 26 points. Well, we thought he would play better. We thought he would shoot better. We thought they as a team would shoot better. Yeah, Rice shoots very well in this building. Very well. Hey, a lot of guys, they get home. Yeah. But the Bulls, the Bulls as a team are shooting 53%. Bill Winnington up off the Bulls He's bench. got Vlade. Watch out. Top of the circle jumper. Back of the rim. Dennis taps it and got it. Offensive rebound and a second chance opportunity for the Bulls. Michael with Divox on him again. MJ. Look at BJ way back in the down. hole. Michael baseline underneath. Hangs. Nope. Look oh. right there. Put it in. Luke. Oh, foul. Foul. Follow. There was a foul on the call, I think, on Michael's drive. Take a look at it. Vlade Divac doesn't get Michael going to the hoop here. Let's see what happens. All right. Michael's saying, all right, get that defense out of here. Here he comes around. Mason makes the turn. Gathers himself, goes up in the air, and Vlade Divac is the guy that puts the foul on. Vlade's fourth. Phil Winnington comes in, gives Luke Longley a break. Michael will have one more. J.R. Reed will come back in. Vlade Divac will leave. But an upcoming home playoff game, the first 10,000 fans in the United Center will receive a Bulls item. Compliments of the Chicago Sun-Times. That's how Michael managed in uh, the game in Chicago, didn't he, 22? He's there now, yep. Six of six from the free throw line, six assists, three rebounds. Rice comes around the screen. Comes way out as Rodman comes over to help. Four on the shot clock. Rice almost lost it. He's got to shoot it pretty quick. He can't get it off. And did we have a foul? Illegal oh, defense. defense. Wow. Wow. And it's a technical foul, I believe, isn't it? Yeah. That's the second one, yep. Shot clock is uh, right there, would have gone off. And, and they were really, a second I mean, nobody away. was even, there's nobody even around that play. You know, everybody's sort of watching to see what happened. And so not only get bailed out on this, you get a free throw and they get the ball back. Rice two of two from the line of the ball game. Our Budweiser NBA profile is Dave Collins, player coach for the 78-79 Celtics, and his second straight 50-plus win season for the first time in Charlotte history. These guys come in and they sure like him here in Charlotte. Mason drives down the lane, comes inside, gets it over to J.R. Reed. Whoa! Out to Rice, and it almost went to about yeah. the fourth row. It's going to fade Rice. back for the jumper. Fakes. Got Scotty in the air, comes up short, and Dennis Rodman with rebound number 12. Bulls trying to put a hammer to Charlotte right now. Dennis Rodman just coming into your picture. Michael with it right side. One-on-one -on -one with Mason. 
Reed helping. MJ comes inside. Dennis, three seconds. They'll call oh. three seconds. Yeah, they will call three seconds. So they get three second call and they get a. The Phil can't figure this out. Here, here's an illegal defense and a three second call and a timeout Bulls. We'll take it with them. Two minutes, 33 seconds left. The Chicago Bulls lead the Charlotte Hornets 79 52. Chicago is known for rallying around its sports teams. But now it's time to rally for each other. As we face one of the biggest opponents of our lifetime, know we face it together. As teammates. As teammates. As teammates. The immediate future may be unknown. But one thing we do know the games will return home. And we will be together again. But for now, be safe, be positive, and be Chicago. 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 The Hive in Charlotte as Fox Sports Chicago spares no expense, bringing you the best shots we can outside and in as the Bulls lead at 72-59 with about two and a half minutes left here in the third. First half, Bulls 52%, second half 50. Charlotte 44 in the first, 50 in the second. Well, the Bulls six percentage points better. Charlotte staying in the ball game by scoring, and Glenn Rice right. has done an awful lot by himself. All right, here's uh, Tony Kukoc in the game now. He's got J.R. Reed. Well, he did. Now Rice is on him. They want the, he wants the ball. Yes, he does. Glenn Rice for three. Off the rim. Mason with the rebound. Finds Armstrong. Back to Mason. One-on-one -on -one with Kukoc. He'll back in. Get as close as he can. Make the 15-footer. Yep, he sure did. The rebound again. Turns into a second chance point. Tony's Scotty down alone. Finds Tony inside. Waits for the fake. Put it up. Missed it. Michael right there. Tony follows oh, it. Man. Gets it in. Look at Michael. And MJ, wow. If Brooks could kill, Michael just gets back and slaps Tony in the chest and says, come on. You can't miss those. Had he made that, he might have picked up a free throw, too. So they go. Here they come down again. Trying to go to Mace. With Dennis on him, and hold on what a foul. What is Legal? Dennis with the hold. First in the last two minutes. See if you can see the hold here. Well. Maybe you could. B.J. Armstrong with Michael right there. B.J. with two points in the ball game. That's the guy I thought they would try to get off. Curry. Curry. Yeah. Yeah. His baseline fadeaway is short. And Dennis yeah. Rodman with yet another rebound. 13 rebounds for Dennis now. Scotty pushes it up the floor. Steve Kerr. Good ball movement. He wanted the ball right back from Tony. Oh, yeah. Del Curry knocks Steve Kerr off. And Steve will shoot a couple free throws. That's their first foul last two minutes. Uh, but they've already got five. Steve Kerr in that first half, he came up with two big three-point field goals. Randy Brown makes an appearance here as Michael Jordan will get a break. So a minute, two seconds left now. MJ comes out with the Bulls leading at 75-61. A minute, two left here in this third. And Donald Royal makes yeah. his first appearance in the game. Here comes Matt Geiger as well. Rice sits down. Glad to see that. Even if it's only for 62 seconds. That's right. Because that's about all it's probably going to be, right? Well, we get it all together here. Steve Kerr's got one more free throw. He's got those same seven points right now. 
76-61, Bulls with the lead as the Bulls put some pressure on. Reed gives it to Armstrong. Oh, and he touched it, and they just couldn't quite get it. Good pressure in the back. They held him to 16 seconds back there, just two off the 10-second violation, 53-8. Curry as Geiger posts up. That Geiger's played very well against the Bulls. Was injured in the last series. Shot clock at four. As Geiger's turnaround jumper is short. And guess who's there again? 14 rebounds for Dennis. Bulls try and go two for one here, you would think. Yeah, I, oh, three. Steve on a quick. Scotty. And it's tapped by Royal. Out of bounds, yeah. Bulls ball. A good play by Steve coming down, taking a three. He had guys going to the board. Okay, here comes Bill Wennington in for. Tony Coo uh, uh, for uh, Dennis Rodman. And Burrell, now he sits Burrell down. Good. This is a good play. Steve takes it up. That's his first three-point miss, but enough of action on it that Pip comes over, taps it, and Don Royal knocks it out of bounds. So the Bulls would move 24 seconds. See if they just take it in and hold it. Got to get it in bounds. Got to get it in. And finally, they do to Steve Kerr. Steve had to call a timeout. Yeah. Del Curry was... Knocking them over. So the Bulls will take a full timeout. 27.4 seconds left here in the third period. And the Chicago Bulls lead Charlotte here at the high, 76 to 61. Three years of expertise make Steel & Lober Chicago's oldest and most trusted builder. From basic two-car to a custom four-car, they can meet all of your building needs. Visit garagebuilder1.com or call 708-544-8383. Wednesday on NBC Sports Chicago, your favorite athletes, comedians, and more. Join forces for the Chicago Community COVID-19 Response Fund. Together, we can make a difference in our community for those who need it the most. Be Chicago. Chicago. Together, we can. Wednesday, 7 p.m., NBC Sports Chicago and streaming on the My Teams app. Visit NBCSportsChicago.com slash BeChicago to donate now. Welcome back to the Hive here in Charlotte. Now, we talked all season long about how Phil Jackson is so sedate on the bench. Well, not lately. The last two timeouts, he's been exceptionally animated. One time he said, there's blood in the water, gentlemen. Let's go for the kill right now. Let's take control of the game. Kind of neat stuff. Back to you guys. Oh, I like that. Oh, okay. and, and that's what, it's what you do. That's what the Bulls have done historically through these runs. That may mean that Dave Cowens might say, we need a bigger boat, Quint. Could <laughs> <laughs> be they smell that blood. Well, let's see. Bulls have 22 seconds on it. Tony inbounds the ball to Steve Kerr. Gives it right back to Tony on top. Shot clock at 15. There you see in the lower left-hand corner. Scott Burrell, Steve Kerr, Randy Brown, Bill Wennington, and Tony Kukoc. Tony almost had it knocked away. Got to go now. Shot clock at five at four. Steve Kerr, the runner, to Bill Wennington from 16. Oh, that is the buzzer sounded. Took some time off the clock. Bill with four points. They come on up with B.J. with a runner, and that's a tap in at the buzzer is good. Matt Geiger tapped it in at the buzzer. That'll count. So we have played three periods here at the Hive in Charlotte. And the Chicago Bulls lead the Hornets 78-63. When we first opened our doors, it didn't take us long to realize. We weren't in the car business. At Lexus, we were in the people business. We needed to be helpful. Respectful. And compassionate. To treat people like guests. It's what we all signed up for. And now when people need this most, we will do what we've always done. Take care of people first. The rest will follow. At the Illinois Bone and Joint Institute, we have evolved the way that we practice in order to provide you with the best access to orthopedic care. IBJI remains open and prepared to serve the orthopedic needs of our community with immediate care locations and newly enhanced telemedicine visits. 
rest assured, we are here and ready if you need us, so you can move better and live better. Here's our Walgreens game summary. Bulls shoot 51%, Charlotte 45. Free throws a huge difference. 17 to 21 compared to four or six three-pointers. Bulls at 50%. Charlotte just one of 10. Michael Jordan making a couple spectacular plays. Here he is against Vlade Divac on a fadeaway. He knocks it down for two of his 22 points. And there's Scottie Pippen looking to go down low. Post up to Michael. Over BJ. Piece of cake. The high of his buzzing. Scoring by quarters. Bulls have been 25, 25, 25. Which doesn't equal 78. The Hornets at 63 have gone a little bit down after that good second quarter. All the uh, points in that third quarter scored by Mason and Rice until that cap in at the end by Matt Geiger. Curry with it on the win. See her right there defensively and a jump ball call. Looks like Steve was being ridden. Giddy up horsey. MJ helps him up. Bulls, on the other hand, had seven guys that scored in that quarter. There we go. Now we can add. There we have it. 25 28, 25. That's 78. Charlotte with 18 in the second. Should be a back tap to BJ. Michael's going to bust in. Oh, Burrell tried to bust in, and he picks up a foul for his trouble. And as you would guess, it's first team foul on the Bulls here in the fourth period with 29 seconds gone. The kid, B.J. Armstrong. Looking down low for Donald Royal. Royal turns and looks. Comes baseline, puts it up. Defense by Burrell, rebound by Rodman. First shot that Royal has missed in the series. Oh, Burrell taking a good look at it. Dennis gives it right back to Michael with Donald Royal on him. Dennis sets the screen. He's got J.R. Reed now. MJ fouled by J.R. Reed. His second and uh, their first. We're at the high. The Charlotte Coliseum here in Charlotte Coliseum. Along with Eric Collins and Johnny Kerr, I'm Tom Dore as the Bulls take on the Hornets here in Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals. Tony Kukoc's right side jumper, very short. 78-63, Bulls with the lead. Armstrong started the drive, now backs it off. Reed's a good baseline shooter. Decided not to take that one. Backs in against Tony, continues to back, and Tony calls for the foul. Bulls getting some fouls quick here, John. Yeah, they get a couple. 10-33. Tiger. That is the way to play the Michael Steele and a trip by J.R. Reed. That's the way to play it. Michael put the kibosh on a guy trying to make the pass in. So if they're going to take advantage of Tony and he's working behind him in front of him, Michael just came right out and played tough defense on the passer. He wouldn't let him get it in. Now Michael comes in and takes the steal on the play. J.R. Reed on the foul. MJ, rocker step, comes back to the middle, got bumped, and he'll go to the line for a pair. Somebody from the back, uh, five hit him with Donald Royal, I believe it was. Bulls trying to go up two games to one in this series. All right, here he is. He comes in. Royal misses him. Now he comes up and, oh, there he smacked him on the head. You can see that. First one bounces out. Michael's first miss. Matt Geiger comes out. Vladi Divac comes in. For 17 of 22. From the line. Well, I guess 
he's got his number. Hmm? Yeah. Curry goes down low. Devon starts to back. Michael comes over to help out and got him in the air. Now, this is the third foul. That's talking about quick foul. 9.53 on the clock, and the Bulls will take a timeout, I believe, and talk it over. Yep, we got a timeout. 9.53 left in the game, and the Chicago Bulls lead the Charlotte Hornets 79-63. For over 60 years, Rilio's Pizza has served you and your family with quality, quantity, and value. And during these difficult times, Aurelio's wishes all that are affected to stay healthy and well. We are all in this together. Aurelio's top priority is to keep you and our employees safe. All 40 Aurelio's locations are open for business, and you can order online or call for carryout and delivery. Select locations are offering uncooked and frozen pizzas. So order with confidence from Aurelio's. Visit Aurelio'sPizza.com for the location nearest you. Thank you. Help is what we've always given. So thank you to our helpers at BMO and beyond. Thank you to the healers, the fighters, the all-nighters, the cleaners, the movers, the 18-wheelers. Thank you to the farmers, the grocers, the above and beyonders. Thank you to all the frontliners for keeping our lives moving when the world needs to stop. Luke Longley with four, Dennis with three, Vladi Divac has got four, Wesley Phils and Reed with three fouls each. Glenn Rice, I heard his name. Luke Longley's back in. Pippen, Rice. It's got to be a ball club, you would think, kind of an offensive team now. Well, BJ takes his time. Rice looking to pop out. And oh, offensive foul. Foul. Yeah, that that Bobby Phils, he leveled Scotty. Rice was running down the baseline, going back and forth, and then Phils just sneaked out there and leveled. Tip. out with Reed right there defensively. Luke looks for the opening. Oh, he thought about the shot. Now Scotty drives, gives it right back to Longley. This one, he'll take it short. The rebound is tapped, and oh. B.J. got hit pretty good by Luke. Uh, the bad thing is, that's a Bulls fourth foul. That's Luke fifth. But uh, that's four now, and you got a good free throw shooting team. You've kept them off the line most of the night. They're, what, four out of, four out of six. six is that? Bill Winnington is going to get the call here. If you can read lips, you understand. Better off with the little jump shot. He tried oh, yeah. to put it on the floor and do you're, something, make out of it. You Boom, you're looking in there 15 feet. Yeah, right. And, and you have pretty good percentage from out there. Luke's a good shooter. 79-63, Bulls with the lead. BJ. Uh-oh, nobody looked at Rice. There was nobody on Rice. Wadi Divac comes in on Bill Winnington. Steve Kerr almost got a piece of it. Divac missed that. And Tony Kukoc strong for the rebound. Doesn't want to take a little bit of time. Down low to Winnington. Gives it back to Scotty. Right side for Kukoc. Tony gives it to MJ. Nine on the shot clock. Michael stops, fades, fires in and out. And J.R. Reed with a rebound. So Bulls a couple times now have gotten one shot and out. Armstrong picked up his oh. dribble. Michael, athletic ability, got him back up. He had fallen down in the play. Watch out, Rice has got the range from there. Just off and Tony yeah. Kukos with a rebound. Steve Kerr, Scotty was up the floor. The Bulls decide to slow it down. Pip turns and looks, finds Michael. Steve Kerr flares out to the corner. Michael gives it back to Kuko. Tony almost lost it. Bill Wennington travel. He, you know, he made up his mind to drive before he caught the ball, it looked like. You know, he, he was so wide open, he wanted to take up the space. Timeout by Dave Cowens. They want to talk it over. We'll take it with them. Eight minutes and three seconds left in a very low-scoring fourth quarter. The ball played at 79-63. The Mega Millions jackpot is now over $150 million. Normally, we want you to run out and buy a ticket. 
But right now, we want you to stay in and play online as you proudly stare at that six-month supply of toilet paper you scored. Download the app or play online. What's up, everybody? Donovan Mitchell here. This is Victor Oladipo of the Indiana Pacers. Jason Tatum from the Boston Celtics. What's up, everyone? It's Dane Lillard of the Portland Trailblazers. I just want to say thank you guys so much for your continued support, man. It means a lot to me. During this time, you know, we should all be looking out for one another. Please wash your hands. Avoid large crowds. And if you might be sick, to quarantine yourself. You know, because these are tough times, but, you know, we will get through them. NBA fans, we miss you. Can't wait to play in front of you guys again. Peace and love. The Mega Millions jackpot is now over $150 million. Normally, we say that money should go to someone in Illinois, not our neighboring states. But right now, we need to come together like we're one big state. We share a lake, even though it's named after Michigan. Hmm. Download the app or play online. Welcome back to the Hive here in Charlotte. I'm here with the uh, consensus college basketball player of the year, Antoine Jameson, the pride product of Charlotte and University of North Carolina. You're from right here in Charlotte. You're playing, uh, the Hornets are playing against Michael Jordan. Who are you rooting for? Be honest. Um, honestly, uh, I'm a big Scott Pippen fan. And, um, you know, Michael Jordan being from Carolina, I kind of pulled for the Bulls a little bit. But uh -oh. his being from Charlotte, they kind of for the Charlotte Hornets too. So uh, when they play each other, I just, you know, just turn on both teams. And uh, I really don't pick a team when they're playing against each other. Hey, cake and eat it too. You're a Bulls fan. That's Antoine Jameson. Back to you guys. Hey, I like that. He's a Pip fan. Yeah. Huh? From Central Arkansas, Pippen comes down and gets uh, one of Michael's <laughs> best players at his school to come out and tell him he likes the way he plays. Rice drives the baseline. Pass hits the bottom of the backboard and Vladi Divac gets it and puts it in. Hornet fans are going to try one more time to get this team a little push. Who coach out on the floor with J.R. Reed. Oh, got it down and Divots down with them. Divots picks the foul up his fifth. And that's their third team foul. Fourth team foul. Four piece, I guess now. Or early. Very early with the team fouls. All right, here comes uh, Charlotte. Make, he, I don't know how he got that pass out, but he did. He got it to Vladi Divac. Nice job by Glenn Rice. Note for his shooting, but that time he was in a jackpot. He was able to get the play out. Dennis Rodman checks in for the Bulls. And you see Vladi's block. MJ comes baseline inside. Double pumps. Finds Tony. Jump up. Oh, yeah. no, but a foul call. Got hooked on the arm by J.R. Reed. Michael flying towards the hoop. I thought he was going to try one of those reversers. Pavetta said, Vladi said he's going to make the, the move with his elbow. He put his elbow out. He put his elbow out. There's the play. And here it is down here. Up goes Tony with the hook. And Vladi says he threw his elbow out. He threw his elbow out. And Dick says, let me see your elbow. What's the matter? Pavetta's <laughs> <laughs> good. Tony. Randy Brown comes in. Steve Kerr checks out. So the Bulls only scores here with 719. Or a free throw by Michael. He split a pair. Now one by Tony Kuko. Eighty-one, sixty-five. Bulls with the lead. Tommy, the Bulls uh, offense sometimes criticized for standing around shooting jump shots, but tonight they are really going hard to the basket, taking things off a screen roll. Body Divac with the fake inside, got it. Counting foul. Everybody looking for a travel on the play, but Divac comes away with the basket. Dennis among them asking for the travel. Johnny, tell me what yeah. you see here. All right, here's the play. Now watch the pass come over, and Michael just gets a piece of it. There's a step, there's a step, and there's a layup. Two coach on the foul, and Divots will be shooting the free throw. Tony leaves. Luke comes back in. Steve Kerr comes in as well. 7.05. Uh-oh, what? Let's get somebody in here. Randy Brown will leave. Randy just got in, but uh, I think it was the, the matchup that they they wanted. Roddy, uh, oh, got his own rebound. Look at it up to oh. Rice for three. Nope. J.R. Reed now sets it up. That's a smart play by Reed. He was tempted to shoot that ball. 
Hold on, no shot. No shot. And a foul called against Scotty Pippen. So they'll shoot. In an upcoming playoff game, the first 10,000 fans in the United Center will receive a bull's item compliment to the Chicago Sun-Times. And that's going to put the free throw shooter to the line, Lotte Divas. So the Bulls did not play very well in that last sequence defensively. Lotte missed the free throw, and they came right back. Lottie, the only guy to score. He's got five points in his quarter. The Bulls have three on free throws. Here's Lottie's numbers, 9 and 12. 68. The Bulls would like to put a little flurry together and put these guys hey, away. Look at the pressure they're putting on Luke, and he can't get the ball in. Finally gets it to Dennis. Back to Scotty. Ahead to Luke, and the noted point guard, Luke Longley, brings it across the timeline. And Luke, how about that for the big guy? All right. Well, he couldn't get the ball in, but when he did, the crowd, the bench is up on their feet. It's a nice play, big guy. Phil laughing on the bench. Reed comes inside, puts it up over Dennis Short, but Michael there for the rebound, yeah. had it knocked away Bulls' ball. Good defense that time, 6-23. Pip looks like he's limping a little bit, is he? No. After the free throw, they, here, come, here comes again. That's noted. <laughs> no, he, he's going to take over for Magic Johnson, I think, with that big point guard right now. We're just kidding. Nice, your big guy can do that, though. MJ. A lot of guys down in the lane. Inside. Oh, tough pass. Boy, that's a tough pass. Boy, Dennis is even saying, look, shoot it. I'll go to the glass. Look at this now. Phil over here saying they're, gonna, they're mopping it up a little bit. Comes uh, Mason. There's a combat power cam as Luke Ooh. takes it in to end. Time out. Bulls with three seconds on the 24 second clock. 6.02 in the game time. And the Bulls lead it over Charlotte. 83 to 69. Our connections make powerful things happen. Uniting individuals and communities. We are Rotary. We are people of action. With over one million members, we know what people can do when they come together. Around the world, generations of leaders build new friendships and solve problems, turning great ideas into reality. Take action with us. Find out more at rotary.org slash action. The Premier League mornings on NBCSN. Join us all weekend for a look back at the Premier League's greatest moments. Game changing goals. Pressure filled rivalries. Unforgettable plays. And title clinching performances. Premier League mornings all weekend on NBCSN. Back here inside the Charlotte Coliseum. Here's our Jinsana hustle board. Leading scorers, MJ Scotty. Luke's got nine for the Hornets. Rice with 28. Mason and Diva. MJ with the fake. High Arthur. Nope. Rebound tap. Dennis had it. Tried to yeah. up, and he got fouled. Anthony Mason on the foul. Dennis right there. Michael almost had it blocked, but Luke kept it alive, I thought. And then Dennis came on in to pick it up and tap it back. Towards the glass. By quarters. How about that fourth yeah. quarter? We're halfway through the fourth quarter, too. I mean, it's not like there's a minute and a half gone in the fourth. Dennis with seven, eight points now, and he's got what, two, three, four free throws. Four or five from there. He's got 15 rebounds. Bulls have only had free throws in this quarter outside of that length of the court drive by Luke Longley. Rebound. Oh, MJ got it, and he'll bring it out and reset. Well, you talk about a bonus, right? Yep. You, when you get Dennis miss a free throw, which 50% shoot. That's right. He's going to do. And then all of a sudden, they get it back again. Rodman. Oh, what a pass to MJ. He wanted Dennis to go to the basket. Uh-oh, Vladdy, where are you? What did they call? Three seconds? Okay. Oh, yeah. Man. They 
89 Bulls with the lead. Glenn Rice goes down to post up. Knocked away by A.J. Loose and a foul called on the play against the Bulls. See if that's on Michael. Yep. I put Rice to the free throw line, though, at 521. And they have had a problem scoring. Vlade Divac has got six points in this quarter. Nobody else has scratched, but Rice has been brilliant through the game with 28 points. Goes for 29 and 30. Ooh. Nice job. And Rice was uh, coming in 10 for 10. He made three other free throws. Rice makes that, and it's 84 to 70. Bulls with the lead. Dennis it's it back to Steve Kerr over to Michael with Bobby Phils on him Pip flares out to the top of the circle off the screen from Lou bounces inside Longley with a roll yes. how about that for Big Luke 11 for Luke nice work on the screen and roll that's what Michael was saying on last time yep. roll in and you see the Bulls bench led by Harper up top long deuce by Wesley for three well, I thought he was over the line on that play. They called a three. Yeah. 86-73 now, Bulls with the lead. Scotty goes inside. Michael caught it and put it in. He had beaten Phils and was looking for Steve Kerr to deliver the ball. Instead, Steve went to Scotty. Michael just kept right going to the basket and laid it in. Scotty with great vision, eight rebounds, six assists to go with his 14 points. Dennis with his 16th rebound to go with eight points. Rodman goes on top for Scotty. Steve Kerr. MJ, the rocker step. Makes the move and a holding call. And Bobby Phils, it's a hand check. His fifth. Take a look at uh, what we said about Luke Longley on the roll. Watch this play. Uh, Pippen drives to the right. Now Luke sets a screen, gets Rice. Mason comes on out. Now Luke's underneath, and he just takes it into one motion. Didn't have to cross his feet or anything else, and, and it looked good doing it. Randy Brown, Tony Kukoc will check in for the Bulls. The hive is being dehived here, it looks like. Bees are leaving? Yeah. MJ puts in the first. Bulls are exterminators, I believe. What's the, uh, who do you call? Ghostbusters? Ghostbusters, absolutely. You Tony Hornet Busters. <laughs> Tony and Luke. I mean, uh, Luke and Steve Kerr check out. Corey Beck checks in. Bobby Phils checks out with just under four minutes left. Michael with not huge numbers. I mean, this is his average, 28 against this team, 28 and a half. He's right on that. He's got 27 now, but the good balance from the bench. Bushler gets set to check in. Corey Beck with it on the wing. Glenn Rice wants it down low. Instead, Beck drives in, puts it up, and a foul on Tony. Here comes Judley. I was on the radio with Judd this morning with his mom. His mom called in and called him Juddy. So I, I threatened him. I said, you are going to be Juddy from now on. Well, and he says, I, I'm, I'm not happy about that. You know what, Tommy? Uh, you talk about his mom and uh, give us a chance uh, Sunday's Mother's Day. And uh, we, we will be down here. And we want to wish all the mothers out there a very happy, happy Mother's Day. I Absolutely. The players' mothers here with the Bulls enjoy their son getting a victory here and coming back to Chicago. It's three and one. Ninety to seventy-four Bulls with the lead as Tony brings it across the timeline. Dennis gives it to Scotty. Spin move baseline and Glenn Rice fouls Scotty Pippen. 
Rice with his third. John, our next television game here on Fox Sports Chicago will be next Wednesday evening. We will be at the United Center. Check your local listings. If the Pacers sweep the Knicks, game room will be at 6.30, tip-off is 7 o'clock. If there is a Nick win, then our game room will be at 8 and the tip-off at 8.30 Wednesday night. So check your local listings. That's kind of a brief description of what the situation could well be. 16 points for Pip. Nice job all the way across the board for Pip. Uh, six rebounds, five assists. Five of eight from the field, five of seven from the free throw line. He played great defense. I mean, you look at Bryce has 29, and Scotty did a terrific job on it. Devots inside puts it up and in, and he's fouled by Tony. Uh, on that pass in, Tony was trying to defend against the center, and uh, Randy Brown might have come out and played Wesley a little tougher so he couldn't throw the ball down into him. And now he gets the ball here, and there's no, he can't get any help. And uh, he just waltzes down, hits the ball away once, and then reaches, slaps, and comes up with the foul. So Devots with 12 points. And I think a big story in this game is the bench scoring. Charlotte has not gotten a bench point in the second half. Well, the two guys that killed us, 15 points and 10 points, uh, Curry has yet to score in a game. B.J. Armstrong has only one basket. B.J. one of seven from the floor as Bushler had it knocked away. And then Judd gets it right back. Judd started to drive, and Scotty says, no, no, hang on. Hang on. Bushy with it on the wing. On top for Randy Brown. Right side for Tony Cooper. Bulls with pretty good ball movement. He's got to get it up now, Pip. Shot clock at four at three. And a steal. 92-77. Bulls with the lead as Mason delivers to Glenn Rice for the slam. He's got 31. Uh -oh. And Scotty will answer on the other end with the slam. So at this stage of the game, you can trade with the Hornets. 220. Mason backs his way in. Jump hook is good by Anthony Mason. He's got 16 points and seven rebounds. He's played a good ball game. Scott Burrell ready to check in for the Bulls. Two minutes left. Randy Brown with it on the right side. Pip comes off the screen, finds Bushy, back on top, Scott. Oh, Pip, you had it, and Rice grabs Dennis down low. Glenn Rice commits his fourth. Scott Burrell comes in, and Scotty Pippen will sit down with a minute 45 left. And his buddy Ron Harper is running mate right there to meet him. But guess what? Dennis Rodman will go to the line for a pair. Dennis, four of six. Got a chance to be in double figure double, scoring. Double, doubles, yep. There's one. Bill Wennington up off the Bulls bench. But does not come in. Matt Geiger does. Anthony Mason leaves. Wennington got up and started to run down. He's still standing up in front of one. Phil, now he'll go check in. Doubles for Dennis. Ten points in the game. He's got himself, uh, what, 16 rebounds. 96 81 Bulls with the lead. Quick three. Nope. And the rebound, Vladi Divac. Goes inside. Geiger went to slam it and just flat lost it. Rebound loose. And Look Dennis Rodman comes up with number 17 in a jam, a traffic jam. He's six foot six and he gets so many of those. Randy Brown between the circles. Shot clock at six at five. Tony will shoot this. Oh, somebody's got to take the three. And it's Bushy. Jay! Juddy with the swish for a three from the corner. So Happy Mother's Day. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> he said he called his mom right afterwards. She was funny. She was good, I got to admit. 50 bucks goes to Charitables. Jim Angio reminds us. Thank you. David Wesley lays it in. 99-83, Bulls looking to go over the century mark. 
They did it against New Jersey in New Jersey. Andy yep. Brown with it on the right side. Had 116 points in that game, and now Tony with the long three wide left. Tony ever been a field goal to wide right? Field goal kicker. Tony will send him to uh, the Kevin Butler school. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah. that will help him out. Dennis, Dennis, yeah. Dennis sits down and uh, gets a nice hand from Phil and uh, his teammates, too. Wesley fouled by Randy Brown. Our producer director on Fox Sports Chicago, his honor, James A. Angio. Joe Cornejo, Jose Cornejo, a late comer with Fox and Ronnie Storto as our assistant director. Glad that everybody's here. Got a big crew from Fox to bring you these games. Everybody did a terrific job. And of course, we'll be live in the locker room right after the game, so don't go away. Bring you the comments from the Bulls, from the Hornets. You'll hear from Phil and Michael. Everybody else. Second one, no good. Rebound. Scott Burrell, and he's fouled, fouled by Vladi Divac. So Vladi fouled out. Vladi, want to foul out, do you think? <laughs> Boy, they look like what hit us, huh? Yep. Dickie Simpkins will come into the ball game. Tony Kukoc sits down. Divac with, what, 13 points? And uh, he ended up with 13 rebounds. Boy, he's had two good games in a row. There's MJ. He didn't play too bad either. 27 points, 9 of 10 from the free throw line, 5 rebounds, 6 assists. Burrell hits the first. This got to feel pretty good for Scott Burrell, don't you think? Yes, John? I do. I, I certainly do. You know, the same feeling he has here is the same one that B.J. Armstrong had in Chicago the other night. Right. Coming back and beating your old team. Shot clock, game clock, can just about run out. Oh, Five bushy, but a foul call. Well, Williams came in. He's going to hammer that one down. Judley got a piece of the ball, but a little bit of the body, and this is the uh, first attempt for Travis Williams. Williams from South Carolina State makes the first. Here's what's going on in the Eastern Conference now. The Bulls defeated New Jersey, Charlotte over Atlanta. So the Bulls now will take a two games to one advantage here. Indiana with a 2-0 advantage over the Knicks. But they're going to New York for Saturday-Sunday games. And, John, do you think Patrick Ewing playing in one game now going home could make a little difference for that team? Yeah, I think he's he had to get his feet wet in the play. Now the Bulls just probably will not take a shot. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm sorry, Dickie. In the hole. <laughs> and he made it. Dickie Simpkins with the jumper makes it 103 86. And the clock will wind down. Jumper from the right side is good for Corey Beck. Two seconds, one second, and that'll do it. Here at the Hive in Charlotte, the Chicago Bulls come in on the road and take a two games to one advantage over the Charlotte Hornets. The Bulls saunter off the floor with the win. Scotty played very well. Dennis had a good ball game. MJ, the guys you would expect. And the Chicago Bulls get the win here, 103 to 89. Now let's go back to our studios one more time. Your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Honda dealers want you to be safe. And right now, you need a car you can count on and dealers who will go the extra mile. And while everything is changing around us, one thing hasn't changed. Our commitment to you. That's why we're working to follow all government guidelines and doing everything we can to help you stay safe with a reliable car that's ready to go when you need it. For details, visit ChicagolandHondaDealers.com today. These are uncertain times, but we at First Midwest Bank remain strong, remain committed to our clients, to our communities. And we want those who are uncertain in these uncertain times to know that even though we currently all need to stay apart, we are all in this together. First Midwest Bank. Get auto insurance on the spot. Call or click to stretch 
That's your dollars with Insure on the Spot. Get your free auto insurance quote in just two minutes. And they insure everyone. Lowest rate, period. Payments as low as $49 a month. 773-202-5060. That's Insure on the Spot. 773-202-5060. Or click on insureonthespot.com. When objects in your...